Earlier this month, I hosted a tournament style subscriber outfit battle where you guys would send me your outfits and I would put you up against people who were similar in terms of outfit style and sneaker choice. And let me tell you something, we had a ton of fun. But before we jump into the contestants, I just want to say if you guys would like to participate in the next outfit battle, rules are very simple. All you got to do is just follow me on Instagram and DM me a photo of your favorite fit. That's it. So let's jump into who we got. So let's jump into the first battle where we see two time contestants, Xavier and David here. Both of them brought the heat and uh, I love Xavier's outfit right here. Just the fire sneakers. These are the Michigan dunks, which are probably, you know, top three best dunks to have released this year with the Michigan shorts and the Nike lab t-shirt. Really, really clean here. This is a great vibe for uh, spring and summertime. So he's bringing out the heat early this year against David who has the palace hoodie, the essential sweatpants, and the Converse. This is a very classic outfit, something that I would wear. Um, both of them brought their heat on this one, uh, but let me tell you something. David, he came really close, and he ended up winning 54 to 46%, so I guess uh, you guys are liking those sort of a little bit more basic uh, outfits and more simple, easier to rock. Of course, Converse are a staple, so I think some of the learnings that you guys can take from David on this one is that perhaps you know you don't always got to wear and buy the most expensive and hype sneakers despite you know the fact that we all love and appreciate those shoes you know to get a great outfit out you know you don't always got to go too heavy with the heat it can also be something that is very relatable to wear so let's jump into the second contestants so for the next one we got my boy in this one Alvin against Nilo both of these guys killed it Alvin took the championship on this one um, with with a 62% of the vote, and it's a great outfit. Uh, Flannel Boys all day, gang gang. He's got uh, the nice Adidas ZX models, which I am definitely been sleeping on this year. I really wanted to pick up those Bape ones, but I just got the Mocha ones, so it's like, yo, gotta chill on the spending. Uh, so either way, this is a great outfit, and the perfect key little detail that you guys can take away is the storytelling and those extra elements to really hit the nail on the head in terms of the shoes, and that is the purple cup that he's drinking from. If you guys want to sort of take things to the next level in terms of your outfits and your fit picks, you know, maybe get some props that'll help, uh, you know, demonstrate the details in the shoes that you're wearing or, or the particular shirt that you're wearing. Um, so you know what, for example, if you got, say, the Travis Scott uh, McDonald's collab t-shirts, maybe head to McDonald's, get a McDonald's cup, sip on the cup, snap the pick, and you're good to go. Either way, Really happy with this one. Shout out to Alvin. Big fan of his. If you guys want to check out a sneaker podcast, hit up Canada Got Soul uh, for some great entertaining and value in terms of the podcast itself. And uh, Canada Got Soul in general is just a really big movement. Really appreciative, to, appreciative uh, uh, for them for supporting me over the years. If you guys want to listen to my episode of the podcast, I'll leave a link in the description box. But either way, let's move on to the third look. Okay, so this one, I'm not going to lie, totally surprised me, right? This was an Air Jordan one battle right here we got my guy Thomas against Elijah so this was a this was a very very close battle right now so we are seeing Thomas right now with a sort of vintage style Chicago Bulls t-shirt with a nice pair of regular uh, a relaxed fit uh, denim right here this maybe it's a corduroy pant whatever but it is this nice sort of faded washed black pant that he's wearing with a pair of dope air Jordan ones in the bread colorway I can't tell uh, if this is the, the the actual breads, if it was the bread toes, doesn't matter. Just uh, OG uh, colorway, uh, color blocking on these sneakers. And he went up against Elijah, who got the flannel boys gang gang uh, on the top and also the Royal Toe Air Jordan ones, which I'm very lucky to have picked up this year. Either way, both of these guys absolutely killed it, but surprisingly enough, I thought this was gonna go to Thomas, but in fact, you guys were digging Elijah's outfit. He got 52% of the vote, so it was very, very close in this one. Kudos to him, this is still a fire fit. I'm about flannels, I'm about the Royal Toe Air Jordan ones. And one key detail that I love that Elijah did is that he went with the black laces, black tongue, black laces, okay? Very simple, and the black jeans. So it's a nice streamlined look from the pants, nice transition to the sneakers, absolutely killed it. Uh, so let's move on to the next battle. 
Okay guys, my most worn sneaker of the year is of course the Blazers and let me tell you something, these guys killed it on this one. So this was a Nike Blazer battle right here. Both of these guys really killed their outfits. They did a great uh, job on this one. I love the fact that A-Rod, he's got this sort of vintage style t-shirt. This is the, the Lakers one uh, with the white t-shirt, the black pants, their nice little cropped pants or maybe it was a cuff. But either way, it's very simple outfit on this one. Uh, against RuPaul who once again flannel boys gang I can tell you guys have been watching the videos you guys have got the flannels here with another sort of band t-shirt these are the red hot chili pepper t-shirt a nice pair of Nike woven shorts uh, Nike sportswear woven shorts with the high socks this is a really classic fit right here I love once again how he took himself outside of his home or outside and and, and went in store in this one and just took a nice little uh, candid photo here I think A-Rod a he took a better quality photo just given the lighting and everything and he actually did take uh, the vote on this one, 51%. It was so close. Both of these outfits are hitters. But let me tell you something. You know, you, the guys voted for A-Rod in this one. So yeah, the next outfit battle is fire. So moving forward, we got Corey versus Jordan. And I absolutely love these, both of these fits. A uh, Corey killed this photo. This looks like it could belong in a magazine. Not only is he from the ALD store, Aimé Leandor, which is a really dope uh, New York-based clothing and sneaker store. They had their New Balance collaboration this year, which was probably one of the shoes of the year. But just the composition of the photo, the flowers, the dope Air Jordans, he just absolutely killed it with this one. The details of the hat, he's drinking coffee. We all love coffee. He just absolutely bodied this one. Um, and I put him up with another Jordan outfit from Jordan, which is the Air Jordan 6. Um, this is a great photo. I like how he used this sort of depth of field of the setting that he was in with the pillars along the sides. The only thing is that the lighting isn't the greatest and you guys will notice that it's not always about like the best photo that you wear, uh, the best outfit that you have, the best sneakers. It's sometimes it's like the quality of the photo and you can just see a lot more detail in, um, in Corey's outfit than you can with Jordan's and of course as you can imagine, Corey took 82% of the vote on this one but kudos to Jordan, flannel boys all day, um, and the Air Jordan 6. I love the Air Jordan 6. This is just one of my favorite sneakers, and uh, you know, uh, both of these guys killed it. I have the True Blues as well, so these guys did a really great job on this one, but let me tell you something, Corey bodied this. Next up was one of my favorites. We got a young guy right here, Drippy Boy. Let me tell you something. I was going to check his name, but I just, his first name, but I just love his username. Drippy Boy. It's just crazy. So he went up against Jay and uh, both of these guys did their thing on the outfits. Uh, you know, you got Drippy Boy posted up looking all cool with the flannel, uh, you know, posted up on against a car with the light wash jeans, the white t-shirt and the white Air Force Ones just killed it. You know, a a lot of the tones are similar, but then he had the little pop of flavor with the hat. Um, I mean, this is just a great look. And for a young guy, young kid to be doing this, um, you know, it makes me wish that I had gotten started a little bit earlier than I did. But when I was his, when I was his age, there was no Facebook, there was no Instagram, there was no Twitter. So uh, either way, these guys really did their thing on this one. And uh, uh, for Jay's outfit, you know, a nice fall vibe. Uh, he got the cargo uh, camo shorts denim jacket. It's a great quality photo. Composition is nice. He's got the nice foliage in the back. Uh, so either way, both of these guys did their thing. But the fact that I'm just impressed by Drippy Boy and just, uh, you know, his he's young and he's getting these outfits off is just a really good look. Uh, and of course, uh, you guys thought the same. So he took the vote on this one uh, by 64%. So I believe we have one outfit. No, we got two outfits left to view um, and they only get better. So let's move on to the next one. So moving along, we got username Low Manzo against uh, Francis. Both of these guys submitted some great outfits and I want to give kudos to Francis on this one uh, because it's a great quality photo for low light situation. So, um, you know, sometimes when you're in, at nighttime and you're outside and you're taking a photo, it can not turn out as well as his photo did. So I just want to say good job with taking the actual quality of the photo given that you're outside or you're and it's nighttime, right? So uh, good job on that. Um, I want to talk about Low Manzo's outfit 
fit, uh, you know, great quality. He, the fee, he, he killed the fit on this one. Um, and uh, the actual fit of the clothing is, that's what I mean. So he's got the black t-shirt with the skinny jeans and the uh, Stefan Janoski SBs, which is not a shoe, which is a shoe that was super popular back in say like 2012. Um, but I think it uh, doesn't get enough credit. It's a really great, easy to wear shoe, uh, sort of like a van style shoe. But you guys were feeling Francis's outfit a little bit more, 73% of the vote. Um, he's got the, you know, the denim shirt with the Chicago Blackhawks outfit. This guy did his thing on this one. So shout out to uh, Francis and Lomanzo. But uh, let's go into the last outfit for round one, guys. This is only round one. Okay, so we got Jason versus Victor on this one, and both of these guys did their thing. Of course, Jason came hitting with the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s, um, and it's just a great look. You know, he's got the high ankle socks, he's got the short shorts, and, uh, you know, the above the knee shorts, I should probably say. The only thing that I would say that he could improve on, in my opinion, is just probably switching out with a more light, uh, earth tone colored uh, hoodie, um, and just really matched more a little bit more with the Travis Scott 1s, um, but ultimately, you know, you guys were feeling his outfit more than Victor's, I believe by 67%. But the thing with Victor, this is probably the best quality photo of the bunch. It's just not really a streetwear look, which is, I think, a lot of you and I, uh, uh, you know, tend to lean towards and tend to favor. Um, you guys, this is, this is probably, the, like I said, the best quality photo in terms of composition and the actual um, image quality is, is, is really great. Um, and he did his thing on this one wearing the Converse and the chinos and the, the striped shirt. This is just, he's a great, uh, a great look right here. Um, but once again, Jason did his thing on this one. So let's move on to round number two, which sees the best of uh, the winners from the first round. They move on, so let's keep it moving. So now we are at the quarterfinals. This is Alvin versus David. Both of these guys did their thing on this one, um, but ultimately David came out on top with 52% of the vote. This was a really close one, um, but I think, I don't know, there's something about David's photo. He's just very happy. It's just very positive photo, um, and I think the outfit is just really relatable um, in a sense, and uh, yeah, like I said, I think a lot of people sort of resonate with Converse, um, so I think actually I'm going to probably style them more outfits, but either way, moving along, we saw Elijah versus Corey. Corey slaughtered the game, 75% of the votes. Once again, this is probably one of the best fit picks that I've ever been submitted to me, uh, so shout out to Corey on this one. And next up, we saw Francis versus Drippy Boy. Once again, Drippy Boy is just killing it right now. When you're that young, and you're getting fits off, just works in your favor, right? So 57% of the vote. And then we got A-Rod versus uh, Jason on this one. And Jason took the cake. Once again, those Travis Scott ones, hard to beat, hard to beat. So either way, let's move on to the semi-finals. Guys, this is getting close. Okay, so I wanted to pair two relatable outfits against each other, and we saw Drippy Boy versus David, and ultimately, I think David probably just has the better quality photo on this one, uh, so he ended up taking the cake 56%, moving him to the finals. Moving him to the finals. Uh, Drippy Boy was kind of like a fan favorite. I was getting DMs like, yo, this little, this little guy's killing it, so uh, either way, both of these guys did their thing on this one, and so for... The second person moving into the finals, we saw Jason versus Corey. Corey took the lead by 55%, showing you that you don't need to get Travis Scott ones to make it to the finals of the outfit battle. But either way, guys, it is finally time for the finals. The suspense is killing me. Uh, either way, this is the finals. David versus Corey, and Corey took the win on this one, 62% of the vote. Once again, one of the best outfits uh, uh, photos that has been submitted to me. Maybe Maybe timing aligned, maybe timing aligned, uh, and it just worked out in his favor. So shout out to Corey on this one. I reached out to him just to let me know some of his inspiration in terms of his outfit and his favorite sneakers. Uh, so some of his favorite sneakers are the Air Force One Lows and um, Air Jordan 4 cement so also some classic shoes um and uh, he's got great taste in shoes for sure some of his favorite brands that he likes to shop at is kith um j crew nike and all saints shout out to him if you guys want to follow him on instagram it is right over here um but just know that he told me that he doesn't uh, uh post many fit pics but the fact that he landed nailed this one is just absolutely fire thanks again for watching this video and once again if you guys want to uh, participate in the next outfit battle Rules are super simple. All you got to do is just DM me your favorite outfit and you're good to go. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video, uh, fan outfit video, very shortly. Peace.